So guys, I am back. And today guys, I bring you one of many to come. Dead Island 2 videos. And today guys, I bring you a guide on an early on weapon you do not want to miss. Man, this thing is super powerful. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Also guys, I apologize about my voice. I have got a flu. My nose is blocked. My throat is itchy. Please send me that love. Okay, so the weapon in question today is called Improvised Hammer. And this thing is super powerful. It more or less one shots with that heavy attack most enemies. It also has an amazing durability too. And you can also swing it pretty quick also. So when you get attacked by many ads, many zombies, you can take care of them pretty easily. So this weapon is locked behind a certain door. A door you need a fuse for. And well, I'll show you today exactly where this door is, how you get this fuse. And it's that simple. So as I said, this is real early on. So after the prologue of the game, your first mission is basically called Desperately Seeking Emma. Where in Bel Air are you? You simply guys need to progress through the first mansion you have to basically get through. And you'll eventually come to this swimming pool area right here where there's a few zombies in it. And you can basically plug in a battery and fry them all. Don't do as I did though and kill yourself. Now to get out of this mansion, you have to find a code for this gate, as you can see right here. So you first come to the gate, you realize it needs a code, and then the game basically directs you where you have to go to find said code. But if you don't know, you see in the on-screen now, it's pretty straightforward, guys. But yes, if you actually come to this gate, if you notice just left of this gate, it's like a small alleyway. At the far left of this alleyway, there's a room, but this room is locked, and you need a fuse to open said Door. If you look inside the window, there's a giant crate inside of there. So to get a fuse, people, you actually need to buy it and you actually come to the vendor where you can buy this from within the next instance. Now, it's important as well, guys, you loot absolutely everything because if you don't find enough money to buy said fuse, you will have to sell certain items to accumulate, I believe, around $1,500. So yes, obviously, you want to be looting. So let's progress the mission, people, and you'll eventually come to... Emma's house. Now as you progress about five minutes into this you'll then meet Sam. Now Sam is the guy who introduces you to the workbench and you also get an amazing machete here. But just after speaking to Sam for the first time and learning about the workbench to his left is Carlos. Now Carlos will be the first vendor you will come across. This guy you can buy items from and also sell items to. Again, those things you have looted if you haven't got enough money, sell them to Carlos. And you'll see guys, he will have a fuse for sale. So go ahead and simply buy this fuse. Now upon buying this fuse, you need to make your way back to the very first mansion you come through. But after buying the fuse, you will then have to speak to Emma, who will then indicate to you that Michael will let you out the back door of her house. So you then need to go to Michael, as you can see me doing on screen now. Speak to him. You can then go out the back door and you just make your way around to that first mansion. Just follow where I'll go on screen now, people. And you can then simply, guys, go to that door, place that fuse in that box. That door will open. You need to kill a couple of these zombies and then you can open that box and get this weapon and yes guys you can upgrade this weapon to add mods to it when you find them this that and the other so yes it's a great early game weapon you do not want to miss super super powerful so get it while you can and there we have it guys guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more dead island 2 be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one